Hey everybody, welcome to our CG discussion. We are continuing our miracle series and um, really it has been powerful for me to not only preach these sermons but also to listen to these sermons um, and to see what they are. Of course, a couple of weird things have caused me to be out during this time, uh, a couple of these messages. But this one, um, I had the opportunity to kind of, you know, be the primary put together person for for it, and, and I think that's because they think I have the most um, connection with the devil. Um, no, I, I don't think that's really why they asked me to do it. Um, but Jesus did do a lot of exorcisms, and those are miracles that we cannot ignore. It's easy for us in our context to ignore it because it's spooky, it's weird. Um, but we do believe, as we talked about on Sunday, that God is teaching us something through these miracles of exorcism. And so as we take a look at each of them, we have to ask ourselves, um, why would God have these supernatural miracles that involve kind of a face-to-face -face encounter or interaction um, with the devil or demons. And so maybe, and this might be a great discussion point for your group, is to ask yourself the question, when you think about exorcism, what comes to mind first? We mentioned, um, of course, the old folk song of Devil Went Down to Georgia. We mentioned um, uh, the, the you know, old early church fathers and the way they depict the devil. Then we talked about the exorcist and <laughs> a little bit, at least I did in my message. And so what kind of is your first um, reaction when you hear about an exorcism. And maybe that's a really good place to start because we don't talk about it a whole lot, but it is important for us to know where we begin. So take a second now. You can stop the video if you want to uh, right at this point, and you can then keep going if you want to do that. Uh, but as we looked at particularly the miracle of uh, Jesus casting the demons out of legion, um, or who would be called the Gerasene demoniac, um, that this, this demon-possessed man finds himself um, revolutionized when he calls the name of Jesus um, and his life is completely changed. And of course, we talked about Sunday that Jesus has authority, Jesus has victory, and because Jesus has victory, we have the victory also. And so maybe it's important for us to talk about places where we feel like maybe number one is where we failed, and then share a place, or you know, we feel like we 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 haven't, we are failing, we aren't experiencing the victory, and then places where we didn't experience victory at one point that now we're experiencing some victory. We don't feel like we're walking in failure anymore, but instead we feel like we're walking um, in victory because we feel like we've allowed God to have His authority over that particular situation, and we have started sharing in the authority and victory that God already has. We received or walk in what we have already received when we received Christ. And so it would be great for you to share some of those things um, and spend some time talking about it. So I, I believe that there is an opportunity for each of us to experience liber liberation when we recognize that we are clothed in His righteousness, that we have received a brand new spiritual identity in Christ Jesus. And it is in that spiritual battle that we see between Jesus and the enemy in the spiritual realm, not just in the physical realm that we see, not just, you know, this mountain right in front of us, but this spiritual mountain that we're able to overcome where we're going to see true victory happen and whatever it is that's oppressing us, whatever decisions that we've made, whatever decisions that other people have made that have, are causing us to feel um, oppressed um, or some that are lost, maybe even possessed, um, that we would recognize there is victory in Christ Jesus. And so that's what we're praying for, and we're hoping that you will have the opportunity in your group to discuss those things. Um, the passages will be on your, um, on your guide, and I hope that it is a really meaningful discussion because we know um, that when the best things happen is, is when our Sunday morning messages really help you accomplish what God wants to accomplish in your group. That's our prayer for you, and we're expecting it to happen. God bless. Have a great week.